a day of wine tasting and a boat ride in Duro Valley. One of the main reasons why I wanted to go wine tasting in Duro Valley was because of the river that runs right through the valley. This was an amazing day trip from Porto. Our day started at a local cafe in Porto where we loaded up on coffee and pastries before we hopped in a van and drove out to Duro Valley. What a cool experience this was. Like I said, there's a valley that has a river running down the middle of it in their wine country in Portugal, so this was a great way to start our day. We were offered a port cocktail, which is port, tonic, lemon wedge, and fresh mint. This was a refreshing cocktail to start our day. Everything was organized by a tour that we had booked, so we just basically hopped in the van and went out for the day. <laughs> We were also offered local bread, cheeses, cured meats, and jams. When you come here, you have to hit this lookout point. You can drive right up to it, stop on the side of the road, and get a whole view of the valley. We just got to our first winery and we're gonna go have some wine and port, different varieties and lunch. Port tasting. This is definitely why we came here. We wanted to try port from Duro Valley. There are three different types of port. We were able to try them all. We had some quizzes, we had some laughs, and then at the end of this tasting, we had a little surprise. At the end of the tasting, they allowed us to go into an empty wine barrel, which was super cool. I think that was a really unique experience. After this, we were on our way for our next destination to have lunch. Thank you. We were greeted with, you guessed it, port. This was a great little house. It was like a villa of some sort with a beautiful property. They cooked everything on a wood burning stove, which Oscar was super excited about. And we just walked around in the beginning, sipping our wine and waiting for lunch to start. <laughs> And from this point on, the wine did not stop flowing. We were offered red and white wine, so we could try a couple different varieties. Um, this was a beautiful lunch. You could have meat, which is what we had here. So I opted for the veggie portion, amazing. And then we ended with port. Our 
ice rubbed down from the owner cooled us off enough so we could have our last final port tasting. Everyone enjoyed this. This was a great trip and we definitely had our fair share of food and wine and port. I enjoyed Duro Valley a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Join me on my next video where we're heading to the Amalfi Coast and doing a boat trip. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, click on this button or you can pick other videos here to watch from my travels.